everyone and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Claire Carmichael and I'm a newly qualified general practice nurse. And today's vlog is all about how to save money as a student. I was the money saving queen as a student nurse, I'm not going to lie. I even struggle now to spend my money, but then I do spend it on rubbish sometimes as well. So first tip is obviously student discounts get your nus card i think i paid 30 pound for the whole three years because it worked out cheaper and then you're covered for three years with your nhs discount card however you don't actually need to buy that because there are free apps such as uni days or student beans i'll put the links below so you can have a look but they are free to sign up you just register with your uni email address and that will get you your student discount as well when you go into places so don't worry too much about paying for an nus card because you can get free apps to get a load of discounts too next tip prioritize i know we prioritize our workload and organize ourselves in that way but financially we never think about priorities we always think oh my god there's a sale on i need to buy this everything looks amazing everything looks attractive but when you go out shopping or when you're looking online for something just think in the back of your mind do i really really need this if the answer is no don't get it just don't something that i heard actually i can't remember who said it i think it was martin lewis the money man actually that said sales are only a good bargain if you actually need it because if you don't need it actually you're spending more than you need to so it's not actually a sale and that that phrase is always in the back of my mind when i go shopping when i go out i go do i need this no okay probably not let's put it back but also sometimes i forget it and i do buy crap <laughs> get free books do not pay for books have a look on your facebook pages on marketplace on ebay on um all of your facebook uni groups there will be somebody selling books out there or not even selling but some people give them away i gave away a few of my books so please take a look at social media first put a message out there ask if anyone's got any books that they don't want anymore that you can have just yeah save yourself 40 50 60 however much quid that you're going to spend on amazon or waterstones or anywhere else that you want to buy your books from save your money guys get them for free or on the cheap also for the nursing students i'm going to say this again because i keep telling people this get a free bnf this is your British national formulae. So this is your medications bible. You can get it free from any pharmacy. Just go in, say that you're a student nurse and say, have you got any spare old BNFs? Done. Freebie right there. Do not pay for it. 50 quid, I think they are. Maybe even more. Don't pay it. You can get it free. Stop it. Also, there's a free app. You don't need to buy that. Okay don't free app free website and you can get a freebie from your local pharmacy budgeting so you want to make a list of all of your ingoings all of your outgoings and that's it just make a list so you know what you've got coming in and it's going to cover what you've got going out so then that will tell you how much you're going to have every single month or every single week to spend on yourself for uh, food or anything that's not on your list and it just it that really really helped me because i used to get into all sorts of financial messes when i was younger and the minute i wrote that list so i knew what was coming in what was going out and how much i physically got to spend really really helped so have it mine's on my phone i still look at it today and it's just the best thing i ever did simple one shop cheap i know don't go to waitrose or marks and sparks other supermarkets are available but these are the more higher end priced ones i love marks and sparks food but it is expensive but it's tasty but you are a student you're gonna learn to budget very very well you probably live on beans on toast for example when you're really skint one week but just budget i always went to aldi and lidl and asda they were my three things again other supermarkets are available but they were the cheapest places to go for me so i found when i went shopping there i had a lot more for my money and it wasn't half as bad as going elsewhere but yes just shop cheap guys don't be too proud or too embarrassed to going to Aldi or Lidl oh and Iceland I forgot to say this I went into Iceland recently again other places are available um but I spent such I spent like 30 quid and that covered me for like two weeks 
I have no idea what happens, but normally I spend about 60. That is my average spend per week on food shopping, just for like dinners and lunches and things like that. I went to Iceland, it was just so cheap. I mean, a lot of it was frozen stuff, but I mean, it seemed like good frozen stuff. And they do salads now, they do vegetables, they do these really nice big bags of... um quinoa spicy quinoa mixes that you can steam or shove in the microwave or sometimes i open it and fry it up as well with whatever i'm cooking like if i'm doing a stir fry or something i'll just add it um but yeah it was so good and it was really really nice and tasty food and it's cheap so yes no shame in shopping cheap guys next tip is if you're going into uni or placements or anything like that make sure you make lunch to take with you because that can really save you money as well it saves you a lot of money going to um, your canteens or your local coffee shops and things like that for lunches and on your breaks take a flask as well i know at birmingham city university if you take your cup tea bag sugar and everything they will fill you up with hot water for free but you do have to pay for milk if you want some milk. And I think it's 25p, unless that has changed with inflation <laughs> in the past year. So check with your local universities and your coffee shops and see if they would fill you up with hot water for free. Fingers crossed. Something else I also do actually while we're talk whilst we're talking about food um, is I normally, if I'm cooking dinner, I will make sure I have enough to take with me for lunch the next day. So if I'm doing a stir fry, I'll make extra. If I'm doing a cottage pie or a shepherd's pie, I'll do extra. If I'm doing a roast dinner, for example, I will do extra. So I've got to take that with me as long as you've got a microwave or whatever to heat it up unless you want it cold. But I find doing that as well really saves money as well because you're cutting your prices in half almost, I think, by doing that. Also by bulk cooking as well. A lot of people make big bulk pastas or chilies and stuff like that and just put them into the freezer. And that just, it all, just all saves so much money. Then we go on to travel. So if you are getting the bus or train, it's far cheaper to get like an annual pass or a monthly pass or a seasonal pass. Also, they do really good student discounts as well. So it's much cheaper and much better to do that. If you're getting public transport, for example, um, that is a much cheaper way of working it out. That's what I used to do. I used to just get like a monthly pass and I didn't have to remember to take change with me and stuff like that because I just had my pass and I would show it and that was it. So it was just so much easier and cheaper. So if you are a student, you can download Word Microsoft package on your laptop or probably your phone as well for free. Do not pay for this package do not subscribe to anything. You get it for free using your student uni email. Just go onto the Microsoft website, sign up as a student free. Whilst you're a student, it's all free. Please, please, please do not sign up. Do not pay any money. Save it. You're a student. Come on, guys. Accommodation time. So if you're debating whether to live in halls or live out of halls, what's going to work better? For me, it worked better to live out of halls because halls is really expensive. Considering it's supposed to be a student accommodation, how do they justify asking people for like £415 for rent? That's not okay to me. I don't know how people afford it. What are you all doing to afford that? Like I, I lived in a shared accommodation. It was a, a really nice big house. There was five of us living there. We had our own room. We had a couple of bathrooms. We had the whole house to share. And I was literally paying £350. That includes all your bills and everything. It was so much cheaper. Well, £75 cheaper, but that's £75 that you've got spare for a meal out or something like that. So think about it logically and sorry to universities for saying that that's the only bad thing about universities is it's expensive to live in so lastly i just want to run through what are my ingoings were as a student and my outgoings just to sort of help you out a little bit and sort of get an idea of what you might be paying or getting paid or whatever, but it might be different because everyone's different. But literally I got the NHS bursary, so that was about 450. And then I got the student loan on top of that, which is another 200 a month. So I got about 650 a month and that was it. That's all I had. However, I didn't have any bills or anything like that at the time. So I had nothing going out, just literally my phone bill and my rent. So my phone bill and my rent together were about 400. So that left me with 250 pounds a month to live on, which is kind of hard when you eat a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you that. 
but i ate a lot of pasta and rice to be honest so i just bought bought pasta rices things like that and then just add different sauces and mixes and meat if i wanted meat or veg but yeah i only had 250 pounds a month to live on and that was literally for my travel and food it's not a lot guys 50 pounds a week for your food and 50 pounds for my travel it was tough so i had to work alongside my course to get money so that was when i did my hca work so as a hca i think i got about nine pounds an hour because it was bank shifts nine fifteen something like that nine something an hour i used to get so i would work my little bum off to get some money to actually be able to go out and enjoy life and that's what i did i worked hard i worked all of my annual leave i worked my weekends i worked my days off it was exhausting but i had to do it to get through the course and it was absolutely worth it so it's fine i managed to work and get enough money to pay my bills pay my rent pay my food and go out and have a nice life and i actually went on a couple of holidays as well so yes you can absolutely do it if i can do that anyone can do it but on that note, I do know that if you live with your parents still, if you've got different circumstances, if you're married and you've got kids, you'll be on a completely different pay scale and amount that you get. So everyone is different. So it's about working out your ingoings and working out what you've got going out as well and how much you've got left at the end of the month to spend and how much you're going to need to make up if you need to make up anything and how are you going to do that. And lastly, if you are really struggling financially, then please get help from university that is hardship funding available through your university hopefully they've got something that you can apply for also if you are a hca healthcare assistant for example and you are struggling in financial hardship the cavil trust will help you out i'll post all of the links from today below so that you can look at them up but the cavil trust and also the rcn foundation they've got money as well there's loads of places that actually has funding to help you out so please look into it don't struggle don't honestly don't stress about it it's not worth your health and well-being just seek support open up and be honest about your financial struggles and get help don't be too proud because again it's just it's not worth it and that is it from me i think i don't think i've got any other tips if i do then i'll post it below because my mind has just gone at the minute but i hope you all have an amazing week and i shall see you next time